So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for All right, so I'm here at uh, a spot called uh, Belito Swimming Pool There's a tidal pool on my on the on the northern side of the pool southern side we have a beach launch area called Salmon Bay I'm gonna get some mussels today I'm gonna collect a few mussels of the rocks behind me we're gonna cook those up a bit later show you one of my secret mussel recipes the tea's been a bit flat and clean so the fish aren't biting so I'm gonna take the opportunity to do something a little bit different Muscles. As you watched me do that, I cleaned them with the back of my uh, tool and that just makes sure that I don't take any mollusks, smaller mollusks home with me um, as well as, you know, I don't want all that stuff at my house. I'm going to go clean the shells out, I'm going to eat the meat and then the rest will just go into the garbage. But cleaning them off with the rocks is a better idea. Rinse them with salt water. Keep them in salt water until you're ready to use them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and cook them now. Let's go and enjoy it. All right, so... Once those uh, mussels are all boiled, you'll see that the shells have opened and you're left with a shell that's kind of open. You just pop, pop that open, take the mussel out, muscle meat, and then in there is a what we call the beard. You just grab that, hold the meat and pull on the beard and the beard pops out. And the beard is just for the materials that actually grips onto the rock. If you find any muscle shells that are still closed, then um, discard that muscle. Absolutely no good if the muscle stays closed. That means there's something wrong with the muscle. So don't force the shell open and just discard it. Best is to obviously drain it into the, with a colander and then um, leave it to cool down. No harm in that because we're going to put these in the fridge anyway. And um, I'll proceed to make the, my my uh, pickled mussels. Remember your limits um, for mussels are 30 and you have to be in possession of an actual mussel license which is available from any post office nationwide um, at a charge I think of 94 Rand and that allows you to pick 30 mussels um, you just got to remember most of these permits state in possession of, which means that you can't go and collect 30 today, 30 tomorrow, 30 the next day and have 90 in your free freezer. You're only allowed to have 30 in your possession at any one given time. So eat them when they're fresh. Don't go and stockpile them. Obviously those regulations are to protect the species. Um, the mussels 
the East Coast mussel, black mussel is definitely um, taking a bit of a hiding. They are recovering, but they're losing a lot of the um, the areas where they where they're prolific. You know, they're, they're losing their, their habitat. Although they're a delicacy and delicious and, and awesome to go and harvest, don't overdo it. And I think it's with any of our marine resources. If you don't overdo it, they'll last forever. Stick to the regulations. The regulations are put in place for a reason. And uh, the guys that put those regulations in place have obviously done their research and they know that uh, they know how the, the, the pressure on them can, um, can cause them to decline. So that's why there's a limit of 30. Stick to those limits. And then just before you stick the bowl of uh, freshly plucked mussels, just go through them one more time and take out those beards because those beards can be pretty chewy. These all look good. So that I'm gonna put into the, into the fridge. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and pick some of my herbs and spices out the garden. And then I'm gonna transform this into the most delicious pickled mussel. And uh, yeah, you gotta try this. You can have it with crackers, you can have it with cheese, you can do whatever you like with it. It's, we keep it in the fridge. And whenever you feel like a bit of a snack, just pop to the fridge, it's fresh, it's wholesome, it's, there's, there's nothing in it, it's all, it's all organic and fresh. So instead of snacking on uh, Simba chips or rubbish, grab that. You gotta watch what you eat. I'm watching what I'm eating nowadays. <laughs> all right, so the mussels are in the fridge. All that delicious mussel meat we plucked out of those mussels. And uh, let's head outside into my organic vegetable garden. I'm going to grab some uh, herbs and spices and then we're going to doctor this baby up. Alright, let's go get some herbs and spices. Alright, there we have some flat leaf Italian parsley, some peely leaf parsley. Take a little bit of each. Okay, a couple of nice uh, red chilies. We actually just need a little one, so we're just going to take one little one and then a bunch of coriander. And as you can see, all freshly grown in our garden and organically grown in my head. And then lastly, I think we need some fennel. There we go, those are the herbs I'm going to put into the mussels. Fennel, some red chili, curly leaf, Parsley and some flat, Italian flat leaf parsley. I don't think there's anything much else. So here we have some uh, finely chopped red onions, finely chopped uh, one finely chopped clove of garlic, parsley's. I chuck those all together. I'm gonna finely chop those. Don't eat all of it. So I'm just gonna chop about half of it. And get it nice and fine. Okay, so those, and then we get some of the fennel. And then finally chop that. Take the stems out. Oh, it smells so good when it's fresh out the garden. And then lastly, we've got a red chili. I'm gonna cut that, split it down the middle, and scrap the seeds out. I'm just gonna finally chop that too. Then I'm gonna put it into that bottle of mussels. So the red onion first. It doesn't matter how you do it, but anyway. Oh, look. These are all fresh, uncooked. Strong flavors. Yeah. A little bit of chili. The juice of about half a minute of lemon. Just put it into your hand so you catch the pips. And then my secret ingredients. Apple cider vinegar. And you can see what I've done here. Just uh, keep the lid on and keep it sealed. Now just melt a small hole in the top, so you can just use it if you need it. Just a dash of olive oil. And then some pepper. And then some, in this case it's a funky Oma beetroot salt. And that's just a Himalayan salt with a bit of beetroot flakes on it. More for the colour than anything else. And using a spoon, just going to mix all those flavours through it. Let's see if you yourself how delicious that looks. And all those different colours of the of the mussels coming through. That olive oil, what the olive oil does is it, it basically it sticks to the mussels and it, it gets all the chopped veggies and things sticking to it as well and obviously just retains the 
So we need to stick to the muscle basically. And that's it. Now, toss this back on the fridge for about half an hour, let it pickle a bit. You can enjoy that on on crackers, you can have it with uh, with some cheese. You can what we love doing is making a smorgasbord. A couple of pieces of cheese, some biscuits, chopped gherkins, pickled onions, a whole bunch of these. Absolutely delicious.